Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to talk about valuation of preemptive rights. Before we do that, let us put some preliminary items in place. First, um, the first thing that we need to remember is that in a rights issue, the right of the first refusal is given to the existing shareholders so that they can maintain their proportional ownership in the company. The second thing that we need to keep in mind is that a preemptive right allows you to buy new shares at a price which is better than the going market price and that price is known as the subscription price. The third thing that we need to remember is that whenever a share is bought before the X rights date, it gives you one share along with a right and the price that you pay for it is known as the rights on price. Obviously, if you buy a share after the X rights date, you are going to buy the share at the X rights price and that is going to give you only one share. It will not give you any right. Now, uh, the fourth thing that is obvious from this is that a right is a valuable commodity because it gives you an opportunity to exercise it and buy a new share at a better than the market price. And so, like all valuable commodities, a right also can be bought and sold in the market like a normal financial instrument. And in this screencast, we want to see how we can find the value of a right. For that purpose, we are going to conduct a twin analysis. In this column of the table, we are going to see what is the value of the rights before the X rights date. And in this column, we are going to see what is the value of the rights after the X rights date. So let us focus on this column first where we are giving our investor two choices. Number one, the investor can go ahead and buy a share at the rights on price and if he or she does that, the price payable would be, let's say C and in the foot of it, let's write an O to signify that this is the rights on price. So that this becomes the cost of this alternative. Now what is going to be the benefit of this alternative? If you go ahead and buy a share at the rights on price, what you are going to get yourself is one share along with one right. The other alternative is to straight away buy a right to buy one share. And if you want to go ahead with this alternative, you need to ask yourself two things. Number one, what is the number of rights that I should have which would entitle me to buy one share? So let's call the number of rights N. And then we also want to find out what is the amount of money we are going to have to pay for these number of rights. And so let us multiply it with the price of the rights. Let's call that price R. So this becomes the total price of buying the rights. Now, if you pay NR, number, uh, NR amount of dollars to get yourself a right to buy one share, then when you go ahead and exercise this right, you are going to buy the share by dishing out S dollars, that is the subscription price. So this becomes NR plus S, this becomes your cost for this alternative. What is going to be the benefit of this alternative? That you are going to get one share for yourself. Now let us see how these two alternatives differ with each other uh, in terms of costs and in terms of benefits. Let's first of all find out what is the difference in cost of both these alternatives. The difference in cost of both these alternatives is going to be this item here. Let me copy that and paste it at this place. And from this, I need to subtract the cost of the other alternative, which is this NR plus S. So let me copy that and write it inside a bracket here, NR plus S. So this becomes the difference in cost of both alternatives. Since these two alternatives are differing in terms of costs, their benefits also must be different, uh, different. So let us also find out the difference in benefit of these alternatives. With the first alternative, you get this benefit. So let's copy that from here and paste it at this place. And from this benefit, we need to subtract the benefit of the other alternative, which is that you get one share. So let's copy that also and paste it here. So if you realize, one share minus one share is going to cancel out and you're going to be left with only one right, which we can simply denote by the letter R. Now, since these two alternatives are different in terms of their costs and benefits, let us equate these differences and see if that can help us in finding out the value of this R, which is the 
right. So let me erase this thing from here and let us start writing from the beginning. Let us equate these two things. The first thing, this one copied and pasted here, the difference in costs and then I am going to equate that with the difference in the benefit of two alternatives and this is simply the R. And now what we need to do is to simplify this equation to find out the value of R. So what I am going to do is I am going to first of all open this bracket. So I am going to write C O and from here I am going to write minus N R. I am opening the brackets and then minus S is equal to R and from that what I am going to do is I am going to take the minus n r to the other side so that on the left hand side I am going to be left with c o minus s and on the right hand side therefore I am going to have r plus n r and from here I can write c o again minus s and on the right hand side I can take out R as common so that inside the bracket I can have 1 plus N. So the value of the right now simple uh, is pretty simple C O let us write that C O minus S and what we are going to do is we are going to take the 1 plus N over to this side as well where it is going to come and get divided by this term. So we write here 1 plus n or simply n plus 1 it does not matter. So we write here n plus 1 and so therefore C O minus S divided by n plus 1 becomes the value of our right before the x rights date. Now let us move over to the other column here. What is the value of rights after the x rights date and we are going to conduct a similar analysis as before. We are going to give our give our investor two choices. Number one to buy a share at the x rights price and the amount of money that will be payable therefore will be C and in the foot of it let me write an E to signify that this is the x rights price. Uh, once you pay this price the benefit that you are going to get out of it is going to be simply one share. You are not going to get any right out of this purchase because you are paying an x rights price. The second alternative like before is to buy a right to buy one share and in this case the cost is going to be um, let us see the cost is going to be the number of rights times the value of each right plus the subscription price just like before and the benefit is going to be again one share. So like we did before now we are going to examine these two alternatives in terms of how they are different in terms of their costs and benefits. So let us write down the difference in costs of these two alternatives. So I pick up the first cost from here. I am going to copy it and paste it at this place here and then from this I am going to subtract the cost of the second alternative which is this. So let me copy that from here and paste it at this place and let me write it inside the brackets. So this becomes the difference in cost of both my alternatives and the benefits are different in terms of the benefit of the first alternative is one share and the benefit of the uh, second alternative is also one share. So the difference in benefit of both these alternatives is zero. One share minus one share zero. Now just like we did before let us equate these differences and see what we get for the value of the right. Let us uh, pick up this item from here difference in cost of both alternatives copied and pasted here and this should be equal to the difference in the benefit of both alternatives which is 0 and from here we need to solve this equation for finding out the value of the right or simply R. So first of all what I am going to do is I am going to open up this bracket. So let me write a CE here and then minus NR and then minus s and that gives me 0. After that what I am going to do is I am going to um, let us see what we can do. Let us take the nr to the other side. So we write ce here and let us write a minus s here. We are taking nr to the other side. So on the other side it becomes plus. 
So from here we can easily see that the value of the right is simply equal to CE minus S divided by N and that is it. Let us put this CE minus S inside the brackets and that would be pretty much it. So the value of a right after the X right date is equal to CE minus S over N and before the X right date it's equal to CO minus S over N plus 1. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.